Yeah, it's awesome. And then I can hear like, and then like a, and I'm, and I'm like, this will fucking do, man. Yeah. I'm your host, Ari Shapiro, and today the topic is crime. One of the original members of the Grawlix, please give it up for Denver's finest, Mr. Ben Roy, everybody. So I had to go to my buddy's wedding, and it's in Connecticut, because that's where all amazing divorces start, is in Connecticut. <laughs> and I end up at this they put me up, they put, because my buddy is not, doesn't have a lot of money, they put us all up at a fucking, like a Motel 6. And uh, yeah, it's bullshit, it's the worst. And there's no pornography at all. For like five straight days, no pornography. My wife is, how does a Motel 6 not have pornography? How does a Hyatt Regency have, yeah, you know what, if you have a hotel, you should have porn graded to the level of hotel you have. Now, if you got a Hilton Garden Inn, yeah, pipe it into the room through pay-per-view. But if I'm at a Motel 6, there should be at least like a rusty little lock box under the sink <laughs> that's filled with like Delia's catalog cutouts that have been culled from the neighborhood kids at the hillsides or something, but there's fucking nothing. And I'm drinking too much on top. Like I'm just getting hammered the entire time. And I'm just, I am a mess. And I keep going out and getting drunk and then I come back and I'm jerking off to everything I can find on TV. I mean, I start with like exercise infomercials and then I just get more and more degrading like as it goes. Like then I start watching foreign channels cause you know they'll show nudity. But then I'll sit through Spanish subtitled fucking six and a half hours of sense and sensibility for one Kate Winslet nipple that never comes. And so I'm just miserable. Then I'm watching scrambled channels, thinking it's pornography and it's never porn. You're like, you're like, that's a clit, that's a clitoris right there. And then the screen straightens and you've just been jerking off to a very robust cartoon bear nose or something like that. So I, I'm like just getting real depraved with it. And I, and I come back one night and I'm real low and drunk and it's cold and wet and I'm in my jacket and I sit on the edge of the bed and I hear the holy grail of all things in that moment, which is that the couple in the room behind me are going the fuck at it. <laughs> that is, that's fucking gold, right? That's, the, that's as good as pornography right there. Like, and it's aggressive. Like, I can hear it just muffled. Like, I can hear, like, <laughs> and I can, yeah, it's awesome. And then I can hear, like, <laughs> and then, like, a, and I'm, <laughs> and I'm, like, this will fucking do, man. Yeah. I'm like, dude, I can do this. So I get, like, real fevered. I start, I just pull my pants off complete my underwear, but I leave my jacket on. I'm real excited about all of it. And I don't take my shoes off. It gives me traction, because I can push back into the bed, right? And, and then I widen my legs out real wide, bud. All right, get them real wide for better sexual reception, right? So it acts like a satellite dish and just, I sit there and I'm pumped now. I'm real hard. And then I decide I'm just gonna start. And I start with a slow honeymoon jerk. Because I don't want to go too quick. I want to savor it, right? So I start with just a slow top to bottom, but I'm already into it. And so I just, I start going. I'm ice chiseling. I'm really getting into it, right? 
I'm carving myself out of ice right now. Like, I'm really going to town. Like, I'm one of those old cigarette machines that just ate all of my quarters. I'm really just, oh, come on. You know what I mean? And I'm just, I'm going. And then after a minute, it, it's not doing it. This isn't doing it. It's not enough, as it is with most dudes. So I decide that I bet that if I get up on the bed and I press my ear to the wall, now I can hear details. So with my boots, my shoes still on, still in my jacket, I get up on the bed and I put my foot up on the, the headrest and I lean my ear against the wall and I can hear it clear as day. And I'm laying real still to not pull my ear off the wall, right? And now I'm jerking it like this. And I look like the most disconcerting little army green man in the package. Like one that shouldn't have been made. Real controversial, right? So now I'm going to town and I'm really going at it. And I'm like, oh yeah, this is so fucking good. Oh, 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 oh God. Oh God. And then I realize these two aren't having sex. This guy is beating the shit out of this woman. <laughs> Fuck you. Fuck, I'm not condoning domestic violence. I'm masturbating to it. And those are two fucking totally different things. Every guy will tell you that we masturbate to shit we don't condone all the time. And I know this isn't right. I'm aware of that. But I'm fucked here. Because what do I do? Seems like an easy decision with your rose-covered hindsight glasses on, doesn't it? But I'm in a bad situation. Because if I don't come, okay? If I, if I stop right now, okay? then I gotta go to a wedding tomorrow morning in terror alert red, okay? There's requisite couples dancing, there's polyester pants, I'm bound to get an erection with my buddy's mom, and there's no way to hide that at all. You ever tried to hide an erection? It, every detail comes out in polyester. It looks like Han Solo frozen in carbonite, okay? So I'm fucked. But then if I don't stop and my grandmother was right and someone's really gonna get hurt by my masturbation. So, here's what I decide. It's late at night and I realize that there are always like this never anybody at the front desk at these hotels, right? I bet that I can pick up the phone, press it to my ear, finish the job, right? Before she picks up, effectively killing two gooey birds with one stone, right? So, here's what I do. I pick up the phone, I press it to my ear, I hit zero, I start going and I'm going. She picks up like that immediately. And I'm in the middle of coming and all I can get out is, there's trouble in 318. Now, any guy will tell you that the minute you come, you are thrust back into the full weight of whatever situation you're in. Because come is just fantasy, condensed down to a liquid format, and then you sheave it from your body. So instantly I was like, what the fuck am I doing? Holy shit. Shit! Oh, and all kinds of weird stuff starts going through your head in that moment. Like you think weird things. Like I was like, I hope that Truman Show shit isn't real. <laughs> Holy, we just lost a bunch of sponsors tonight. I can tell you that much. <laughs> so that night they like, <laughs> they like knocked on my door. I didn't answer, the cops did. After they broke it up and they split them apart and everything. And uh, in the morning, uh, the day that I went through the lobby and uh, the manager was there and he's like, I'd like to thank you for calling the police. We'd like to comp your room. <laughs> <laughs> 
And I said, yeah, I did. I took it. But really what I wanted to say was, no. No, you charge me twice. Once for me and once for the part of myself I left in that room. You guys are awesome. Thanks. My name's Ben Roy. Have a great night.